In this video, we follow the workflow from concept to the final part on the Pocket NC. Let's start with a basic overview of the workflow. First, draw up a part in a CAD program. Next, move the solid model into a CAM program to program the tool paths, which will tell the machine how to cut the part. Next, post-process the part. This step outputs G-code that the Pocket NC will interpret to run a part. Simulate the G-code to check for collisions. Set up the machine to run the part, and finally cut the part on the Pocket NC machine. Now let's take a more detailed look at what is involved in each step. The first step is to draw the part in CAD. Pocket NC customers commonly use SolidWorks or Fusion 360 to complete this step. Once the model of your part is finished, you can bring the model into the CAM environment. In Fusion 360, this is as easy as switching from the design to the manufacturer space. In the CAM environment, you start to contextualize the part for the Pocket NC machine. In the CAM software, you program the tool pass, which tells the machine where to cut the part from the starting piece of stock. In CAM, you set the coordinate system, select the tools used to cut a part, as well as set parameters like feeds and speeds. The next step is to post process the tool paths. Simply select the operations you would like to cut and post them. The output of this step will be a .ngc file. Once the machine has posted G code, upload it into the Pocket NC simulator at sim.pocketnc.com. From here, you can catch any errors like a travel limit or a collision. Next, we move on to setting up the machine to get the part ready to cut. We set up the machine to match the work holding and stock specified within the cam. Finally, we are ready to cut the part. Upload the G code into the Pocket NC user interface, home the machine, make sure the tool is loaded and measured, and then begin to run the program and cut the part. As with any process, this one is iterative, and if you are going to run a part several times, you may find ways to optimize your machining strategy. If the CAM portion is new to you, you can download a free 30-day trial of Fusion 360 and run through the Pocket NC first part tutorial linked below. With the trial of Fusion 360, you can run through all parts of the workflow up to setting up and cutting the part on the Pocket NC, so you will get a good idea of what is involved. If you are new to CNC machining, we hope that this video provided a sufficient overview of the CAD to CAM to CNC workflow. If you have any questions, please reach out at info at pocketnc.com. Thanks for watching.